volleyball tournament day two. Oh my god. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me this time because yesterday the video cut out and I don't even know what happened. Um, but long story short, we lost all of our games and we probably played the worst we ever had. So <laughs> probably part of it was because two of our players weren't there and we had a new player. So last night me and Kendall went down to the pool and there wasn't a hot tub, so we made our own hot tub in the bathtub with a lot of bubbles. Yeah, I put a little too much moisturizer, bronzer, lumi lotion. Okay, so we have to be there at 11 because we play at 12. And then I don't know how many games we play. I think it depends how, like, what, how good we do. Um, so since we lost all of our games, we're probably going to be playing pretty bad teams. So hopefully we don't lose because that's going to be really embarrassing. Unless I had the same situation that we had. Also, I met a bunch of you guys yesterday. Like, it was crazy. So a lot of people. A lot of people. Kendall, how many pictures did you take yesterday? A lot. <laughs> okay, makeup is done. Now we're gonna do hair. And Kendall's done with her hair. Now she's gonna do her makeup. Okay, hair is done. Got our alonies. And now we're gonna go play. Get ready with me while I tell you about my acne journey. I posted a video yesterday and got a ton of questions about my skin. So I thought I'd make a video going into more depth about it. So I started getting acne when I was in sixth grade, literally still in elementary school. Pretty sure I was like 11 years old when I started noticing little bumps on my face. And that's when I started getting into skincare. I tried so many different face washes and toners. I tried that for a few years and nothing was really helping it go away. So I went to a dermatologist and I got prescribed minocycline. I can't remember how old I was when I first tried this but it did not work for me. Fast forward to COVID when I was wearing a mask all the time I started getting really bad acne on my cheeks. Not only was I super insecure about it but it also was extremely painful. If you've ever had deep cystic acne you know and I had it all over my cheeks. I don't have very many pictures where you can see it because I never like taking pictures of my skin but you can kind of tell in this one how deep these were and they were so painful. This is a screenshot from a video so it's not super clear but this is just another picture where you can see it. And this is a picture I posted. This was actually six into Accutane. I don't have very many pictures where you can see what it actually looked like, but I ended up going on Accutane. I started it right as I was starting my junior year of high school, and I was on it for almost a full year. The first six months I was on it, I didn't notice like any changes in my skin, except for maybe my acne got a little bit worse. Besides the fact that my skin got extremely dry, my lips were bleeding like every single day. I also got rashes all over my body, like I'd get them in the creases right here, and on my knees, and all over my arms. But once that seventh or eighth month of Accutane rolled around, my skin cleared so fast. Luckily, I never had any acne scars. You're not supposed to pick your skin when you're on Accutane, but I definitely did. I did have to go in and get my blood drawn every two months, I think. I also had to go in and take a pregnancy test every month because it's like really, really bad if you get pregnant on Accutane. But once my 11 months were up, I got off of it and my skin was super clear, the clearest it's ever been. And don't get me wrong, I still have acne and I still break out sometimes, but it is nothing like how it used to be. I've been off of Accutane for three years now. I think it's pretty common to go on Accutane a second time and I haven't had to do that yet and hopefully I never have to. Okay, I'm all done with my makeup now and if you have any more questions, you can comment them and I'll answer. Hey guys, happy Sunday, but Sunday's a never happy day because it's actually the worst day ever and it makes me severely depressed. Anyway, um, basically, it is one o'clock, my hair's greasy, my face somehow looks tanned even though the rest of my body isn't because I scrubbed it all off yesterday. Um, and I'm still in my pyjamas at one o'clock, I haven't even had lunch yet, which I'm really hungry. It's fine, my dad's bringing me back some chicken and vegetable soup. So life is complete because that is like, I actually, on a Sunday, chicken and vegetable soup, crusty white bread rolls perfect anyway that was relevant why did i talk about it as i was saying my exams start tomorrow <laughs> if i don't laugh i will start crying they have caused me so much stress like more stress than all of my gccs combined i'm not gonna lie and there's i only have three but because they're so close together like there's tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon and tuesday morning as well but it's fine because in two days time it will all be over for the rest of the year i won't have any exams so but summer starts on tuesday pretty much also i've been trying to get some pens together for the exams look at the pens that i've accumulated 
why they're all basically i couldn't find any new ones except this one so they're all like half empty ones i just found in my drawers they might not even work like at all but i have to write with these pens in exams and i forgot to order some they're like the zebrons okay not sponsored not an air but these are literally the best pens ever like i use them in every single exam like I, i'm really funny about pens like i'll show you some pens okay this is turning into a really weird video but here's some pens that i cannot write with these ones the gel ones like the fountain pen ones because i'm left-handed as you can probably tell i just can't write with them and especially they, they always like run out halfway through they're just really annoying anyway so if you want pen recommendations for your exams guys these are the ones that you are going to use okay that was really really random anyway as i was trying to say i need to like i actually just can't be bothered i've completely given up and i should be a little bit stressed because they're tomorrow and i am stressed but i'm like not stressed enough to actually revise it's just because i don't all i keep doing is rewriting my notes and i'm not learning anything and i i need to be doing like past paper questions but i don't want to do past paper questions because they're so incredibly boring so incredibly boring so this is what we're left with and i need to have an early night tonight because i've been going to bed so late like i went to sleep at half past two for, for what reason like what possessed me to do something like that like and i had to wake up at nine well i didn't have to wake up at nine i made myself wake up at nine okay what anyway i just wanted to let you know that i'll not be doing a sunday reset today because i'm planning on doing like a massive room Re not really like organization type thing on wednesday because my exams will be over so because we get like study leave for these exams i have like and mine are like really early on in the week i have wednesday thursday and friday off i've told you guys this so many times but i'm telling you again so my plan is on those days where i have off like have no college and i'll have like no homework as well i'm just gonna like literally clear out all my clothes because there's no room in the house and my parents keep saying because i've literally just taken up every single empty drawer in this whole house is stuffed full of my stuff so i need to actually do a massive clear out i might put a load of stuff on vinted and stuff like that so let me know if you'd be interested in that because i just need to do a massive clear out literally every single drawer in my room i'm gonna do a clear out of so i'm gonna do like a vlog i don't know whether to do like a long one or one on here so i don't really know yet anyway that's why i'm not doing a sunday reset today i think i'm literally just gonna change my sheets because i feel like sunday resets actually take it out on me like energy wise i don't know why they just do and i feel like if i do a sunday reset then i'm gonna completely burn out and i will just end up like crying in my bed so that oh my god my voice so that's the update for you i will try and do a get ready for me tomorrow morning i think i'm just sort of like speaking my thoughts right now no one actually asked for this anyway that was the today's update for you it's actually such a nice day as well but i don't know why i always like oh it's such a nice day as if i would as if i wasn't revising i'd be outside no i wouldn't i'd literally be sat in my bed like asleep probably so anyway that is my daily update of the day what also sorry i just watched that back and my lips she looks so crusty and i actually promise you they're not i don't know why they look like that on camera because i have a cold so they look really like weird because i've been having to be a mouth breather oh, for the last few days honestly pain but i just thought i'd address that before someone else did because i'd actually start crying but i promise you they're actually not that bad i hope everyone has a really good sunday even though that's possible because it's literally a horrible day and love you leave you Bye. get ready with me for the 96th day of school alexa what time is it for the people saying that I'm filming these videos at night, I've had about enough. Also, ignore my voice, I am slightly sick. There was no get ready with me on Friday because I was like peeping that something was off. So I never mentioned this, but thank you dear Claire for sending me that serum. Over the weekend, I experienced living the mute life because I lost my voice. After coming to the conclusion that the mute life is not for me, why are we driving motorcycles at 6 o'clock in the morning? Like I was saying, Although the mute life is not for me, I think it actually is pretty peaceful. I don't even really know how I ended up getting sick. If I had to take a guess, it could be because of the fact that I never went straight home not one day last week after school. The weather says 48, I think I could leave my coat open or take it off. Whole time the real feel is like 28. Last week my English teacher put us in groups for like our project or whatever. And she was like the people next to you. Every time you show up late or you don't show up to first period, you're failing them. I think that's a little dramatic. I think my stomach is growling like this because I had soup for dinner, which isn't even really a meal. I feel like if I ask you what your favorite food is and you say soup, it's like I lose so much respect. Deuces, deuces, and deuces. Hey, y'all, girl.
guys what's up i had a volleyball tournament this morning and we finished around 12 so i'm just doing my makeup because i'm bored i actually cannot do the bad weather anymore you guys it just is making me so freaking depressed i just want it to be sunny so bad to be honest i just got sidetracked and spent 15 minutes plucking my eyebrows Every time I finish a volleyball tournament, I get a major headache, and I don't know if it's because I'm dehydrated or if I, it's just a headache. I really want to watch a movie, but I don't know what movie I want to watch. I started the Resident Evil series, so I think I might watch that. I just had a girl on Depop add no refunds to her bio the second I asked for a refund instead of actually replying to my message. Like, you didn't even ship it yet. You can literally just refund it. You could literally just reply to my message and be like, sorry, I don't do refunds. And I'd be like, fuck. Okay, but at least, like, I wouldn't be so annoyed. But for you to just add it to your bio instead of literally just replying to me. What are you, 12? Like, what are you doing? I hate when people on Depop act like I'm not the customer. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've worked in customer service because I would never act like this with anyone. Like, I don't know, since I've been able to work legally, I've had a job, so I've just kind of gone through my teenage years having that mentality that, like, the customer is always right. Even if they're not right, the customer should always be satisfied. So why are you, as a seller, not leaving me satisfied? <laughs> I don't know, I'm definitely asking for too much out of these, like, resellers. Like, no returns I get, but no refunds? Like, I don't know, that's just really annoying to me. The Sephora sale is coming up and I literally have $9 in my bank account. Okay, well, I have all my savings, obviously, but I'm not about to take money out of my savings for makeup. Like, what? And I actually have $33 in my bank account, but I forgot that the way I paid for these concert tickets is by doing four payments of 20 Sir, yeah, I'm gonna have, like, no money. Because my fat ass just had to go to Insomnia Cookies last night. Like, are you kidding? So if anyone wants to buy my clothes from Depop, that would be much appreciated. Part of the reason I'm doing my makeup is because I have to record a collab video, but I also want to make a video talking about what products I do want to buy from the Sephora sale. I don't know where I'm going to get the money for that from. I'm going to have to like pull it out of my ass or some shit, like grow it on a tree, but I will figure it out because a sale is a sale. Hi.